Electrons have a very small mass, much less than that of protons and neutrons, and move very quickly. Because of this, their behavior is extremely unusual. Electrons need their own branch of physics, quantum mechanics. Although most of quantum mechanics is beyond the scope of this course, some quantum physics is useful to chemists. For example, electrons in atoms or molecules exist at very specific energy levels. Although there are many energetic levels, the broadest energy level, known as shells, will be important to us. To think about these shells, it's useful to think of them as stairs. Just like we cannot stand between stairs, electrons cannot exist between shells. The nucleus has a positive charge due to the protons. The positively charged nucleus is attracted to the electrons, and the closer electrons are to the nucleus, the more stable they are. Shells are de designated by whole numbers, with shell 1 being closest to the nucleus. Shells are designated by positive whole numbers. Here's a graphic which depicts the shape of stairs, and each stair is labeled with a variable called n and a whole number. The lowest stair is n equals 1, the second stair is n equal 2, the third stair is n equals 3, and so on. The variable lowercase n stands for the shell. Electrons in the first shell are closest to the nucleus, Electrons in the second shell are further from the nucleus. Electrons in the third shell are even farther. As the shells get farther from the nucleus, they become closer together. For atoms on the periodic table, the highest shell for an electron on an atom is shell number 7. Another feature of electrons described by quantum mechanics is that the maximum number of electrons that can fit in each shell depends on the shell level. The equation to determine the maximum number is 2 times n to the second power or squared, where n is equal to the shell level. For the first shell, 1 squared is 1 times 2 is 2. There are a maximum of two electrons that can exist in the first shell for any atom. For the second shell, 2 squared is 4, multiplied by 2 is 8. There are a maximum of 8 electrons that can be in the second shell. For the third shell, 3 squared is 9, multiplied by 2 is 18. For the third shell in any atom, there are a maximum of 18 electrons that can be in that shell. The maximum number of electrons allowed in the second shell, 8 electrons, will be an important number for us throughout the chapter.